What's up guys? I recently put a 3.4 inch pulley on my D1X so now it's pushing out about 18 pounds of boost. When I built this motor I put a forged crankshaft with a keyway so I currently have a single keyway on the crank pulley but once you get up to this kind of boost level a single keyway may not cut it anymore. So I went ahead, I splurged and bought the Pro Charger crank pinning kit. In the past I've used some cheaper ones like ICT Billet. Uh, the Pro Charger one was about double the price, I think it was a hundred bucks. But I was pleasantly surprised when I got it. You can see they put a hardened insert in here. Uh, when I used the ICT Billet kit they just had holes drilled in this block and then the drill bit was able to slop out the holes a little bit so it was kind of a one-use deal so we'll see how this holds up to the drilling um, also they included an extended drill bit in the other kit the drill bit was a bit short um, I really had to put it on the tip of the drill and this one looks like it should be plenty long uh, they supply one dowel pin for five bucks. You can buy an extra dowel pin, but I'm just going to install one dowel pin opposite of the keyway on the crank. And then it looks like they supply a high quality bolt to hold the jig in place while you're drilling. Um, they also have some pretty good instructions here. So first step is going to be to remove the, the sway bar and the wonder bar the belt for the supercharger and the supercharger pulley and then I'll see if I have enough clearance to get in there uh, I may have to remove the radiator if I don't have enough space to get in there with the impact driver to remove the crankshaft bolt all right I didn't have enough room for my impact gun so what I did was I put the e-brake on as tight as I could, put the transmission in sixth gear, and used the 82 foot long breaker bar, and I was able to pop her loose. So we'll take this bolt out and we'll get the jig in to drill the hole. So I got the crankshaft bolt out. You can see here the keyway is on the right side. Uh, previously, I had a stock crankshaft with this balancer so I had two pins drilled so you can see the two half circles where I previously had pins so I'm going to put the new pin directly opposite of the keyway on the left side here okay well that was fun uh, there wasn't enough room to get a drill in there so I had to pull out the radiator and fans now should be good to go I don't have a 90 degree drill so if I had a 90 degree drill I might have been able to leave the radiator in but I can show off my fancy air flaps on my shroud so when the fans are on it pulls a vacuum and keeps these vents shut so the shroud is fully enclosed and then when the car gets up to speed we got some extra venting for the radiator on the top and bottom. A lot of shrouds, high-end shrouds come with these, but this one didn't, so I had to 3D print these and make my own, but it turned out pretty cool. So we're gonna drill out for this pin. You just wanna drill out just a tiny bit deeper than this. So they say it's 0.8 inches, so we'll give that a try. Okay, so I've got the hole drilled to what I believe is the right depth. So we're going to clean out these shavings and pull the jig out. And then we're just going to use something like a screwdriver or a wire just to test the depth of the hole before we put the pin in. Because I don't know how tight the pin's going to fit. And if I'm not quite deep enough and the pin is sticking out a little bit, that's maybe going to cause some issues. I like using a magnet to clean the filings out instead of uh, compressed air because then you're just going to end up blowing metal shavings all over your engine bay. Alright, 
So I've got the pin fully seated. I put a little lube on the pin and I used a five millimeter punch to make sure I had it uh, just below flush with the face of the harmonic damper. So that pretty much covers the installation of the Pro Charger crank pin. And is it worth the extra 50 bucks to buy the Pro Charger kit? For me, yeah, when you have an expensive motor like this, you know, you don't want to risk having any issues on this install. So uh, the $100, I think, is money well spent.